everybody this is Audrey also known as Noble Strength and welcome back to my channel and as you can see you tuned in to see my vlogging highlights from my recent uh, getaway with a girlfriend of mine we went to Florida and these are gonna be just a few highlights from that trip that I wanted to share with my viewers and before I began showing the highlights from the trip I wanted to address a comment that was left on my previous video of what's in my bag one of my viewers was curious to know if there are any other women in her age bracket between the ages of 50 and 60 who do girl trips because she's in her late 50s and she finds it a bit unusual that you know a girl trip is being done you know I guess you know with someone my age or someone her age that's just not you know something that's normal for her or I guess that she was brought up you know you travel with your husband or you travel with your family but just going with the girls seems a bit odd so if there are any women between the ages of 50 and 60 who do girl trips comment below tell me why you do girl trips and how that's worked out if you're married now I'll speak for myself. I'm in my late 40s. Well, I guess mid to late 40s. I'm 46 years old and my husband is not a traveler at all in the least. Um, we're polar opposites when it comes to that aspect of life and I've always loved traveling since I was a little kid. My mom sent me on a plane when I was 10 years old by myself to California to go visit my aunt and I had the best time and I've just wanted to travel, you know, continue traveling, you know, as I age. I just remember traveling a lot with our church as well. We had a lot of conferences and the sites and locations would be throughout the states and so I had the opportunity to go various places with my church and my like I said my mother she encouraged exposing me to the greater world I remember taking a trip when I was in junior high to New York City because they were offering a trip and it, my mom paid for me to go and she made that sacrifice for me to just have these experiences and I am thankful that she did and so my husband on the other hand he's a person that travels out of necessity he travels if it's related to church of course he's on the worship team so uh, he's in the worship ministry so sometimes he has to go for conferences and it's because he has to uh, with his job he's traveled in the past because he has to not that he wanted to uh, we go to family reunions of course we're going to be there for our family um, and we also go to visit our elderly parents. My Both my mom and his mom are up in age, and so, of course, we make trips to go see them on a fairly regular basis, and <clears throat> so that's out of necessity, and, of course, we love them and want to do that. So those are the types of trips that we take together. As far as just taking getaway trips, that is not something we ever really did. Um, when we traveled up as family, it was always for a family reunion or something like that. So yeah, my husband's a homebody. He likes to tinker on his car. He enjoys um, being on his electronics. He's a kind of a tech savvy guy. He enjoys, well, he's a mechanical engineer, so it kind of falls in the way that his brain works. And he likes gardening, but he does not like going to the movies. He does not like large crowds. He likes being home. So I respect that and he respects, you know, me and we just kind of support one another and he wishes me safety on my travels and, you know, it, it just works out. And whenever I go on a trip without him, I always think to bring him something back. He's a hot sauce connoisseur, so I try to remember to grab a hot sauce bottle from some place that I've gone, but it, it just works out. So anyway, I hope that answers your question to my viewer who wanted to know, you know, the reasons behind wanting to travel without your husband or if there's anybody else who does, please comment below. But anyway, having said all of that, please stay tuned for the highlights from this girl trip. And if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate all of you and all of your support. So take care and I'll be seeing you very soon. So enjoy these highlights. Hey guys, on the road with my friend Angela and she's doing the driving. I offered to drive, but she said she got this. So, you know, it's all good. But anyway, we're heading to Orlando. Hey Angela. Hey Audrey. <laughs> Thanks for the road.
road trip girl you're such a sweet friend love you you're welcome audrey <laughs> we couldn't get in the master so we decided to just take it on out of time what are we gonna do angela on this trip oh we just gonna have some fun girl all right now <laughs> And you guys that are out there, don't take the way she said fun is to mean anything else but just some clean fun. <laughs> Florida. And we just had our grapefruit juice. <laughs> How'd you like your grapefruit juice? I love my grapefruit juice. It was good, fun. wasn't it? It yes, was good. It was. It Who was. is that character over there? Is that Flash? Gordon? <laughs> I don't know either. picture-worthy as mine. I don't know about the head and the tail. <laughs> today well let's start from the shoes and work our way up okay i actually went doing i did some thrift shopping also what? and i found these at gb warehouse i okay. believe for about 10 or 12 dollars oh that's an excellent deal and i walked into target one day and looked on the clearance rack and these pants were on the rack for 11 dollars and 48 cents oh, with the wow. extra uh, discount and my employee discount, so basically free. Awesome. Walked into J.C. Penney's and saw this shirt and decided maybe I should put these this shirt with these pants. I love it. And I also bought these earrings. I think in Rite Aid they mm -hmm. were actually maybe twenty percent off one day, wow. and I love them. And I lost one and went back and bought another pair. Did you say Rite Aid? Rite Aid oh, girl, right. they sell jewelry. I did so not you, know that. Yes, I, I love do. You it. might need to check it out. I will definitely have to check them out. Yes, you. And they will. need to give you some money for giving them a shout out. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Rite Aid, really? Okay. <laughs> What kind of bracelet you wear? Oh, this is actually a gift from my daughter-in-law. It's an Alex and Ani bracelet oh. with my initial A for Angela. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, Lovely. it is. Alex and Ani. Is there anybody out there in YouTube land that's heard of that brand before? Let us know in the comments below. But you looking lovely, girl. Well, thank you, Audrey. Awesome. Audrey, you're looking good today, girl. Well, thank Tell you, us. Angela. 
love. Tell us about that outfit that you have on. I will be happy to tell you. You know I love fashion. So on the shoes, on the feet, I have my Antonio Milani sandals that I got from Dillard's when they were having to change the season. Cute. So I only paid like 20 something dollars for these. Oh, and they, wow. I call them my Jesus sandals because they're so comfortable, you know. Yeah, we need them all. Yeah. And then I have my boutique special. And I cannot remember the name of the oh, boutique, wow. but I got this. It's my African-inspired pants slash skirt. It's got oh, pockets. Love it. So I love that. But you know I got to show the pockets. Here the pockets mm -hmm. for you. And it's got elastic, so it'll fit just about anybody. Nice. And then my top. Girl, Sexy. I thrifted this. Oh, wow. at Goodwill so I'm showing a little back while you showing a little shoulder <laughs> and then for my jewelry I got these at a street festival or art festival you know arts in the heart we have that all the time in Augusta that's where I got these from Cute. so nice. that is my look from head to toe and I'm ready just like you <laughs> get it girl get it girl all right girl let me do one last twirl for you one last pose <laughs> Nice. I All love right. it. We are ready. We ready. All right, girl, let's go. Angela, girl, I forgot to um, ask you, what did you think about the movie we went to see last night, Acrimony? What were your thoughts on it? Oh, it was a really good movie. Mm -hmm. A little strange at times, but I thought Tyler Perry has done it again. Okay. I just didn't know which direction the movie was going to take, but, I mean, it was nice. What did you think about the two main characters, like, without giving too much away, because I know some people probably haven't seen it, but without giving too much away, what did you think about, like, their their development, their personalities? Could you relate to them? Like, you know? Well, I can say that I've been in a certain situation mm -hmm. similar to that one. So I can kind of relate to the feelings of, especially the woman. Mm -hmm. I really can relate to her and what she meant right. through the whole movie. I really... I really can relate to that. Yeah. yeah. And it's interesting that you and I have kind of different views on the movie. So that makes a good dialogue because I like I enjoyed talking to you about it last night because I had my perspective on it. And then you were telling me, you know, your perspective. And I was kind of leaning and more empathetic or empathetic for the man because I felt like his whole time, his passion was for the two of them even though it didn't come across that way his passion right. for what he was doing was for the two of them but like i said without revealing too much i don't want to say what happened but uh i did have more empathy for the man but i thought it was a pretty good movie like you yeah. did mm -hmm. i did too i really did okay all right so, thanks girl for your input <laughs> it's a tie okay <laughs> We are in the Goodwill here in Florida. I've never been to a Goodwill that has bins. I've heard my other thrifters like Dion Dean talking about it, but I've never been, so I'm like kind of excited but kind of nervous at the same time because I hear y'all talking about wearing gloves and putting on masks when you're digging through. And I didn't come prepared. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting just a regular Goodwill, but as you can see, there's a lot of bins here. So I'm gonna give it a try. A limited a try and I'll let y'all know what I find okay all right so I'm at the second Goodwill same plaza in Florida Orlando Florida this is Goodwill Industries the other one I did not know it was the Benz and that was a bust the Benz was a bust for us <laughs> Angela picked up a red top and then put it back she didn't think it would fit her her blessings <laughs> I'm not as blessed as she is, but anyway, um, I hope I have better luck in this door. What do you think, Angela? Yes, I think you will. Okay. We're going to get something out of here. Yes, definitely. All right, but I'll keep y'all posted because I can't, can't film inside. They got me at the last place and told me I couldn't film in there. So, all right, see you in a bit. All right, Angela, we're about to head to Animal Kingdom. This is the day we've been waiting for, and you look real comfortable. You think you're ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, we're going to do an outfit of the day. Tell us what you got from the uh, shoes on up to the top. Okay, well, 
Um, I, I actually bought these shoes from the Columbia Sportswear Shop okay. at the Tanger Outlet on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Uh-huh. And I also picked up the shirt to match. I love it. I have a pair of capris, but um, I think I'll leave them in my bag today because okay. I've gained a couple pounds. Well, you look great, girl. Let's talk, let's talk about these distressed jeans. Oh, yeah. I think I bought these out of Hamrick's last year, a few uh-huh. months ago. And um, they are so comfortable, so I don't have to worry about them sliding down or wearing a belt today. Uh-huh. So I think they're going to be really comfortable. They're very flattering because, like I was saying earlier, I like how the silhouette is smooth. So yeah. it's got a nice little... Uh, Elastic or stretch or whatever in them. That's yeah, cute. Pretty good. Thank what God kind of jewelry are you wear. wearing? Um, Target earrings from Target. Okay. Sterling silver. Oh, so right. I want it to be comfortable and I have on my hoops today. Well, you look okay. great. I think you are ready to go, girl. I'm ready. All right. Well, hello, Audrey. Now it's your turn to tell us what you are wearing today. This is the day you've been waiting for to yes. go to Anima Kingdom. Yes, it so is. So I'm glad to fulfill the wish with Thank you. Thank you. So tell us what you're wearing. Well, I am wearing my chucks. You know, gotta have the chucks. That's like a staple for my wardrobe. Mm-hmm. And this is like the one thing that I, well, I should say the second thing I did not thrift that I'm wearing. Mm-hmm. So I got these at DSW. And the jeans I got at Goodwill. You know, that's my favorite store. Mm-hmm. And these are my you know. Ann Taylor Loft jeans, which I really like. Let me give you a turnaround. They're dark denim, mm-hmm. and I just cuffed them in the leg. Mm-hmm. And then for my T-shirt, I got this at Arts and Heart. Just like yesterday, Love I was wearing it. the earrings from Arts and Heart. Got this T-shirt, so I'm representing Augusta today on my yeah. shirt. And it's just a plain white tee. And then for my earrings, these are just some basic hoops that I got. I believe I got these from J.C. Penny. And that's it. That's my look. All right, Audrey. I think you're ready. I Let's am. get it, girl. Okay, girl. Bye. <laughs> Tree of Life is amazing. Look at the sculpting of the animals. You have the elephant, and there's so many different carvings in this tree. So awesome. Make sure you do fast passes because they are worth it. Definitely. That's to their advantage when warding off predators like lions who want to jump on their back. So we're going to be able to see them grab a little bit better up here.
so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.